is the story uh, about you meeting an American man in Cambridge? When I was a student? Yes. Yeah. That was before I was a lesbian. I was just... Um, <laughs> I was sorting myself out. Yes. People say that I have no filter. <laughs> um, I don't really know quite what that means. I, I, I know that I just say what comes into my head. And sometimes it's very offensive and people are very shocked and disgusted. And sometimes when they tell me what I've said, I'm shocked and disgusted too. I was on my bike because we, <laughs> we cycled. Over the cobbles, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Dyke on a bike and... Uh, <laughs> and we stopped at the traffic lights and I turned, I looked to the left or the right, as it, whatever it was, and there was a car, an open car, with an American soldier inside and something crazy took hold of me then. You know that feeling. <laughs> I've got it right now. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, would you like to follow me to my college and I'll suck you off. <laughs> Dear Stanley, I think he was a bit shocked. But you know, Americans are a bit mealy mouthed. Um, and I use that word uh, <laughs> deliberately. You knew you recognised her from somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> Finish that story. No. <laughs> I, think we, I, think we know, I think we know what happened. Right. Yeah, right. The really interesting thing was that um, he afterwards, and, and I should explain, I thought I was being a good girl <laughs> because yes, a bad are. girl would have had intercourse. <laughs> With a random stranger from the street. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Well, I still think it was the right thing to do. <laughs> I'm sure he felt the same way. Yeah. Well, did anyway, did after judge it was all over, he said, could I come back next week because I've got some friends here. <laughs> I'd like to be on one of your shows that will actually air. <laughs> <laughs>